you're going to do a get ready with me, I should probably wipe that off. Well, I guess it's not really important. And I'm going to be using the new limited edition Thinks Meeks Wet n Wild palette. Um, I love these palettes and I think they're super pigmented and they're only like $3.99 or something like that. But this is the colors. I swatched four of the colors on my hand here trying to decide which ones I wanted to use. Um, I'm not going to use the black in here. At least I don't think I'm going to. And I'm going to get rid of these little applicator thingies because who uses those anyway? Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my eyelids because I almost just forgot. And I should have had this ready. But of course, of course I didn't. And I'm going to prime my eyelids using the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade Barely Branded. As you can see, it's almost empty. I have to get new stuff. So I was getting ready to record this video and I see somebody walking in my yard and it's one of the neighbor ladies down the road and I don't know if her dog got out once again but this is like a recurring thing like the dog doesn't just wander every once in a while like she was out at like two o'clock in the morning screaming for that dog. If you have an issue keeping your dog in your yard you should probably either put it out on a leash when you let it out or go stand by it while you're um, letting it out to go to the bathroom. Like, I guess I just don't understand because I'm sorry, but my animals are like kids to me. And if my animal slash kid behaved like that, they would be in serious trouble. Like, animals are smart enough to know. My dog does not wander out of my yard. And if she does... That'll be a first because she will be in huge trouble and she knows she'll be in huge trouble. So it's not like, I mean, she knows better. Let's just put it that way. So what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to dip into this definer color right here and just put that all over in my crease. Now, I do feel like this is a pretty dark shade, so we're just going to see how this comes out when I'm finished. It's not bad, actually. This is probably going to be exactly like a neutral look that you've totally seen a million times before, with me only using other palettes, obviously, because I do work today. I don't do, like, crazy bright makeup hardly ever anymore because... I work so much and it's not really it's not really work appropriate to be quite truthful like I mean my work would allow it but like customers look at you like holy fuck what's this emo girl doing here like this so that brown actually blended out really really nice not gonna lie, I like it and then I'm going to go in with a smaller fluffy brush and I'm going to use this shade that says eyelid on it it's a really dark brown with like shimmer in it I guess you could say it looks like there's glitter in it but it doesn't come off glittery when you apply it like and I've obviously applied it on my skin I'm actually going into the crease with this and on the outer corner man these shades are really nice I totally didn't need another neutral palette, but hey, you know, I guess a girl can't ever have too many neutral palettes, right? We should all feel that way. This is obviously going to be like a really dark makeup look. I'm trying to decide which of the gold slash copper shades I really want to use on my eyelid because I really kind of like both of them. So there's this one, and then there's this one, which I guess I could darken that one up a little so if you can see it a little more right there. I don't know, maybe I will go for that coppery one. These blend out really good too. I'm actually extremely surprised. There isn't, to me there's not... Oh, the brow bone color is just 
so brightly gold that I don't think I could pull that off. I'm actually going to use, I think I'm going to use the brow bone color. I'm going to use my finger for this. So I'm just going to use this color for my eyelid. Actually, nope, I'm going to get, I'm going to use the base one for my eyelid. These are super creamy too, super pigmented. Yeah, this is like a copper color. And I already don't like it with the way that I've done it, so I'm going to go into that brow bone color and put that over the top of it to make it a little more on the gold side. Wow, that is bright! Can you see that? Probably not. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to put that copper color first. And then go in with that gold shade over the top of it. 